Yo, what up, Fet fans? We're here with another review, and today we're doing the G.I. Joe Beachhead. I have this figure everywhere in my videos, and, um, and today is the day where I review him. And, uh, so, yeah, this guy is from G.I. Joe, and, um... From the classified series of Target exclusives, I got him. And I'm still trying to look for the rest. But anyway, he is hard to find because people are hoarding them because they think they're never going to be there. And it's a hard time to get them back in stores because they're because of this time. Cause Coronavirus. But anyway. So, um. This figure looks awesome in the show you might know in G.I. Joe. He is one of the tough guys. It's like a tough guy who. Who thinks he should be general or something, if you might know. And he is fourth in line to be general. He's got this beret, which means we're gonna get a duke. We're gonna get a flint. We already got a duke. And actually, what I saw is that flint is actually gonna get a figure. And actually, his beret is move removable, just like this guy. And I don't know why his beret is move removable. But they're also coming out with a Lady J with removable hair so she could put on a hat but anyway let me show you guys his accessory and here are all these accessories right here and uh, you could see that he has a a big backpack with arrows and whatever that thing is it has a smooth surface with the peg he has a crossbow a little knife, the same gun that Duke has, a new weapon that looks like some kind of nerf gun that uses the discs, I think that's all based on nerf guns, and his beret, shiny beret, and it's basically simple to get his accessories on him, with beret you just basically like put it on him. And it will not be coming off. With this knife, it goes on the best thing right there. You could just put it any way you want. I like it this way. And with this, just basically put it in that foot. I kind of like to do like he's holding it right there. And then he goes... Boom. Just fit it right in there. Fit it right in. It's awesome. And he has his gun that basically just fits in his hand with there. And you could double wheel like that. And you could just go like... backpack just peg right on the before we do that well I think I already did but there's there's a little peg right there for the crossbow to fit on but actually this is a more way to get it off quickly but what I'd like to do is that I just put it in like that and it could just be like that, and it won't come off for when you just fling it. And then you just put the backpack on there. And then here is Beachhead all gunned up. But right now, we'll just remove some of these things. And 
And uh, moving on to articulation. I just get the machine ladder situation. I can go down that much. Can go up that much. Can go full 360. Has some neck joints right there. The ab crunch is blocked in there. And, uh, he, but he could do some, uh, hip. The elbow can go pretty far. I'm gonna go 360, 45 joints, bicep swivel. Hand can go down, can go up, can go 360. On this hand, they could go up, can go down. Can do a little joint like that. You could do. By the way, I have some bandage on my my hand. And uh, drop down, jo drop down on the droid. Also, hip can go full 360. Let it go up that much, back that much, roll that much, up that much, solve the thigh. Double joint knee could go all the way to his back. Boom. Boot rotation, you can go down, you can go up, you can do the ankle rocker, and I think that's it for articulation. By the way, I forgot to mention what I like and what I don't like about this figure. What I like about this figure is a hat. I do like how he has a hat, and how he has that backpack right there. It looks so cool, and you could fit the crossbow in the backpack. And I love his gun. I love his gun. Really do. I guess what I don't like about this figure, like I said before, the ab crunch is blocked in there because of the vest. But they replaced it with some hip rotation. So, uh, also he has some straps. Straps everywhere. I like those straps. With those things right there. And I do love how he has a mask. So, um, that was articulation. Good. For the sides of this figure, he is standing about, uh, six and a half inches tall. And for a size comparison, here he is right next to Mach 1. They're about the same height if you watch my Mach 1 review. You see that they're also the same height. And for another comparison, here he is right next to the tallest figure in the universe. War Machine. Just so super that tall. that was it from my day's review of the G.I. Joe Beach head from Cobra Island. If you guys want to get this figure... <laughs> Maybe you buy when you see it, cause never wait for a sale. It will be gone in seconds, because people are so greedy. But anyway, like, follow, share, subscribe, subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, bell icon to be notified when we upload more videos, and also tell people about my reviews. Because I do not say bad words. and But wherever you are, me as a bounty hunter, I will always catch you. Enjoy. Enjoy your toys. Beachhead.